Welcome to this episode of Star Wars The Classified, where we look into different facts and stories revolving around the Star Wars canon universe and lore. In today's The Classified, we'll be taking a look at Luke Skywalker's siege upon Moff Gideon's light cruiser, and answer the question on why he had his hood down for the entirety of it. Well, of course, this is a small detail that most people didn't particularly notice, or figured Luke simply did it for dramatic effect. The answer to this is actually quite the opposite and harkens back to his Jedi training with Obi-Wan Kenobi. One of the very first lessons Luke had as a Padawan under Obi-Wan Kenobi on the Millennium Falcon was him not to trust his eyes. As Obi-Wan put it, Luke, let go of your conscious self and act on instinct. Your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them, stretch out with your feelings. It was here that Obi-Wan had taught Luke the very valuable force ability of Farsight, which allowed the user to see their targets without actually needing their eyes. This force ability was especially useful in situations of confusion or uncertainty. With both Jedi and Sith being known to take advantage of Farsight when needed. It's exactly by using Farsight that helped Luke completely destroy the Dark Troopers aboard Gideon's light cruiser, whose demonic aesthetics were deliberately made to intimidate and strike fear into anyone facing them. Add to the fact that even though one Dark Trooper would most likely scare a normal individual, then an entire platoon of them would only cause trembling and despair. But of course, by Luke not using his eyes to see them and relying purely on instinct and the force to guide him, then much of the strengths like fear that the Dark Troopers could have otherwise relied on had they faced anyone else were made obsolete. It was also thanks to using Farsight that as well allowed Luke to foresee the movements of the Dark Troopers, and block their blaster shots each and every time, especially even those coming from behind him, thus allowing the Jedi Master to destroy an entire platoon using his lightsaber with relative ease. Only once he was done with the offensive was when he removed his hood, using then his eyes to greet Din Djarin, Grogu, and the others aboard the light cruiser. It's also safe to say that Luke had passed on the knowledge of Farsight to all the learners of his Jedi Temple, but as seen during the Battle of Krayt, this wasn't an ability at least that Kylo Ren, formerly Ben Solo, cared much about as rather than being willing to see through the Force in this moment, he instead let his hate and anger get the better of him, relying on his eyes to confront Luke, forgetting that they can betray him. And this ultimately led to embarrassment in front of his troops. As his namesake once said, your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them. And that will do it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and share it, along with subscribing to the channel to not only support it, but keep up with Star Wars news, gaming, and canon lore released every week. And consider following me on Twitter and Facebook to never miss out on the latest Star Wars related content. And if you want to further support the channel, then check out our Patreon page to become a Knight of Silo, or click the YouTube join button to join the Silo fleet. Or if you want to continue the conversation, then join us on the official Silo Discord server. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.